All right, are you ready to hear? I'm going to tell you the secret of life, okay? The secret of life is trust the process. Do you know what that means? Okay, what that means is that, see, you're trying to draw this butterfly here, right? And that's good. You want to draw a good butterfly, and you're following the directions, but you're frustrated because you see this nice-looking butterfly, and you see the butterfly that I drew here, and, you're, and you want to be able to draw this butterfly right away. And you're looking at the result. This is the result. This butterfly that you draw is the result of doing the process. This right here, where it tells you how to draw the butterfly, that's the process. So what trust the process means is that if you keep on trying this, if you keep on doing the process, doing the thing that you're supposed to do, you're going to eventually get the result. But if you keep on focusing on the result, if you're like, oh, every time I try to draw a butterfly, I can't draw the butterfly, I'm not doing a good job, then you're, you're never going to get there. You're going to be upset, you're going to be angry, you're going to be frustrated. But trusting the process, what that means is that when you want to learn how to try and draw this butterfly, what you do is you don't worry about what it's supposed to look like. You just worry about doing what you're supposed to do and doing it over and over again. And you're trusting that you're eventually going to get good at it and do this. Because you know that the way that you learned how to read, how you learned your ABCs, was by the process, by practicing, right? And you learned all your math facts by practicing. That's the process. You didn't worry about the results. You, when you first tried to read, or you first tried to learn your ABCs, or you first tried to learn how to do, you, memorize your math problems, you didn't know them all, right? And it didn't, it might've seemed like you're never gonna learn them all, right? But, but did you learn them? What's eight plus six? 14. Yeah, and what's seven plus five? 12. Yep, how do you know all that? What's nine plus two? Yeah, how do you know all that? You teach it to me. Well, you sort of. The way that you learned it is that you practiced every day. You went through your math flashcards and you learned them, right? But Until you, you made me. That's the whole point. I made you follow the process. You know why I made you follow the process? Why? And why we made you read every day and do these so things? I could go to Dougie T's. No, not so you could go to Chuck E. T's. The reason why I did it was because I knew that regardless of what happened, that if you did your math flashcards every single day, twice a day, and all we did, I didn't worry about the result, I just worried about the process. I just said, if I make you do these math, math flashcards every single day, then what will happen is you will eventually learn them. You will get better and do it. So it's the same thing here. When you're doing this butterfly, don't worry about having a perfect butterfly. Just worry about doing this. Just keep on doing this over and over again. If you, here's, here's something like, that can help you. I promise you, if you do this 100 times, you will have a nice looking butterfly at the end of 100 times. Most people won't do it 100 times. They'll try it one time. They'll say, oh, my butterfly looks like crap. <laughs> and, they'll, and they'll give up and they'll stop trusting them. But if you trust the process, if you do this 100 times, before you do it 100 times, you'll have a nice looking butterfly. But I promise you, if you do this 100 times, you will be an, not only will you have a nice looking butterfly, but you'll be able to draw this butterfly without the directions because you'll know exactly how to do it. So don't worry about the results, trust the process. And that's the secret of life. Everything that you want to do in life, everything you want to accomplish, is you have to trust the process and not worry about the, what's the results. Results is the end thing, is the butterfly. It's what you want to get, right? You don't, you don't aim for what you want to get. Instead, you figure out what is the process to get what I want, and then you trust the process and you do the process over and over again. You did your reading, you did your math, you're gonna do this butterfly. So do this butterfly and that's, that's how you're gonna do it, just by doing this. Don't worry about getting a perfect butterfly, worry about practicing, because you're gonna get better and you're gonna get better at drawing in general when you do that. Guess what, I huh. know how to draw a different butterfly. Yeah. Do you ever know how I draw my different butterflies? Like this. Yeah. Wait, I even forgot how, how I draw my butterflies. <laughs> that's okay. All right, so go and practice that, and that's, that's it. All right.